Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to another MX Rush ATV Reflex custom track gameplay video where today I'm playing Anaheim 1 2017, which was made by KTM 660. And uh, before I get started, I just want to show off this quick bike real quick, which I believe was created by a username uh, 85MXAlive. Uh, just put this bike in game for me and uh, it looks sick. Did an awesome job with it. <laughs> it's on the Kawasaki even though uh, we ride Yamahas and Sim, but it's a replica of our Sim bike. And then someone also made uh, the shift gear, and I forget their name, I'm so sorry, but I'll put it in the description below, so please pick it up. And uh, we're gonna do, let's do eight laps on this. And it is slot one, so I didn't mess that up, don't worry. So, uh, KTM6060 said thanks to Kid Zoro because I believe Kid Zoro built this stadium and then built some of the objects as well, so they did a fantastic job compiling this together. And the track itself is very well built, um, in my opinion at least, from what I've been able to play of it so far. Um, my reflex skills are going to be a tad rusty as I've been uh, not doing reflex track videos for a little while, but we're going to try to do what we can anyway. So for those of you that don't remember Anaheim 1, I mean it was six weeks ago now. Um, first rhythm section, little... Uh, five set of jumps there. Man, Reflex, I just feel so rusty in any way because I'm kind of getting used to MX Day TV Supercross Encore doing those track game plays every week. So then going back to Reflex, I feel like I have <laughs> no ability to play this game whatsoever. Well, you could three that and then two into the corner, but if you have my talent, uh, then you're going to not do that. And then this section, I think, is the only section that is built a little off from what it was like in real life, where uh, you almost have to do on-off, on-off to do it like any sort of normal way there. Uh, but it's not a bad thing. I still think that the section's really fun the way it's built. So I'm not trying to knock him. I'm just saying that in accordance to real life, it is a little bit off. So I apologize that I'm just ripping into him, of course, because that's all I do when I do these videos is I just make fun of everybody that makes all this awesome free content and it makes ATV Reflex. It's my one and only true goal about this, these videos. That is 100% accurate, isn't it? On Dark Slides. Oh. Well, you can go 3-3-1 three, three, in that first rhythm. In real life, they're going 2-3-2. Uh, two, and in practice, Dean Wilson and a couple other guys were able to be going 3-3-1. Uh, three, three, so, pretty accurate in that section so far. And then the rest of the track is quite accurate, to be honest. So that's what you're supposed to do right there, is 3-2. Then, like I said, you have to almost go on-off, on-off here. You can quad that, I suppose, but nobody was doing that line. And if you go around the outside here, you triple in. And I think you triple over this, yeah. Triple into the corner. So again, a little bit different than what they were doing in real life there, which was uh, rolling from the inside or doubling from the inside and then uh, going two, two on, off, and then two into the corner. It's a really weird section, how it ended up working in real life, to be honest. Ah, but the glory days, back when Ken Roxon didn't have an arm in half and was dominating the field. Feels like it was so recent. Well, probably because it was. It was like less than a month ago that that was happening. And the poor guy smashes his arm to pieces at A2. And I don't know how much you guys have been following that whole Ken Roxon situation with his arm, but um, it sounds like he actually got really lucky with the way that they got him into surgery and the time that they did and everything because he was in danger of actually losing his arm with how much uh, constriction there was going on with some of the tendons and ligaments that they weren't sure that he would ever have feeling back in his arm and so they got to surgery really quick and were able to repair his arm back into a normal position because he dislocated his elbow and if you've seen the x-rays of it it's pretty gnarly how far his forearm really was from where it was like you know where the normal place is for your forearm to be located um, but yeah dislocated elbow dislocated wrist and a compound fracture of his radius and ulna which is in the forearm and initially, I think people were being optimistic and thought, oh, he'll get back for Hangtown, but r realistically, he's probably going to be done for the year, um, and maybe we'll only be able to get back for, like, Monster Cup and MXON if he raises it or anything like that, which is a damn shame because, gosh, Ken looked good on the Honda, looked so smooth and ready to dominate Supercross for, uh, 
be the first time not someone not named Ryan in this decade would have won the title. Kenny could have done it, but it's like Ryan is uh, still in a pretty good spot to win the championship. Unfortunate. But anyway, just bringing back old memories, I suppose, having gone to this race in real life and seeing this track being ridden and how much Ken Roxon dominated that night. And uh, just hero to zero so quick. Such a shame that that happens in motocross, but thankfully it sounds like he will make a full recovery. Whether or not he'll still be the same rider, we never know. But I think he will end up back on his bike for sure at some point. Which is good, because, I mean, imagine if he had lost his arm, that would have been a, a massive end to someone's career of rocks and stature to just be done. I'm trying to take some different lines on this track, though, and one thing I noticed about KTM 660's building of this track is he actually built a little bit of a rut down the right side of that whoop section, so if you get into it, it's a little bit lower than the left side. Um, but I think, it, when it comes to reflex at least, as long as you get on top of the whoops, it's about the same speed, no matter how big the whoops are, to go through them. So, it's not like that rut is a huge help, but it, it does actually help because when you come out of the inside of that corner in that rut down there, um, it doesn't just stop you in your tracks because you're going in a really tall whoop suddenly and you're not able to carry your momentum through. I uh, did a little jump around the corner line right there, just trying to find some cool lines to hit. There's only so many different lines I can do on this track, so I'm trying to show off um, the whole kind of spectrum of it. And uh, I will say that I'm very, very slow on this track. Uh, I believe Dark Slides 19 actually told me that some guy named Merlin was able to run like a 52 or something, probably even better than that on this track. Finally got the triple quad there. So I am by no means running the fastest lap times on this track right now. So I apologize to all of you lovely viewers that turned up expecting someone actually good to play this game. Unfortunately, wrong spot here as uh, I'm not the best gamer when it comes to reflex. Oh, quad in. Oh, almost got it. I was still able to hop up onto that tabletop. Sweet. I'm actually riding okay for being as rusty as I feel like I am right now in this game. I mean, I really have not been playing it hardly at all in the last at least couple weeks for sure, so... Feeling good. Feeling fast. Feeling ready to definitely not win the MX Race ATV Reflex Championship. Which I believe there is a series going on, and I'm sure any of you uh, watching this video have a little bit more information about it than I do. Um, probably some sort of Steam group that is putting on the series. I know that if you go to Twisted Dirt, it uh, shows where all the... Uh, or who is building all of these replica tracks. But, um, yeah, I have no clue about the series or anything like that. I've only ever raced one, like quote-unquote professional MX, MX versus ATV reflex race <laughs> in my life and uh, I was trash at it so probably not going to be trying to win that reflex championship just to be uh, saying something you know especially with this immense talents landing on the Doblos bales and such seeing how seeing how I uh, just blow the stadium builders in this game um, Kid Zoro though really solid job at building Angel Stadium I mean it I'm looking around at it right now, very accurate from what uh, I've seen of it in real life. Um, it's got those rocks in center field, which uh, the new Angel Stadium it was put in because it used to be called um, Anaheim Stadium, I believe, when the Rams used to play here football. And then uh, the Rams left and the Angels were the only tenant. And for a little while it was Edison International Field. And now it's obvious just Angel Stadium, which is named after the baseball team that plays here. And so they actually cut the stadium down from about uh, 65,000 seats to 43,000 seats. And they removed that whole center field placard out there with the grandstands. And instead put up a rock formation that uh, shoots out waterfalls and stuff like that. So it's awesome that Kid Zoro put in time to do that. And obviously a great track by Kid, or, um, I'm sorry, KTM 660. I've been told by Dark Slides that I should say that his bump models would have been better here. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it still works. It is what it is. But thanks again, guys, for watching another MXRZ TV Reflex gameplay video here um, where we did Anaheim 1 2017 by KTM 6060. Uh, if you liked this, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.